Biodiversity is very important uh, because we are in the middle of rapid changes globally, for example, climate change. And we know, based on scientific research, that biodiverse ecosystems are better able to tolerate and, and buffer against uh, external shocks and disturbances. So for the forest system resilience point of view, it is important to maintain biodiversity. On top of that, we have to understand that we are totally dependent on ecosystem functioning and the services functioning ecosystem provides for us. So if we lose biodiversity, we face the risk of losing important functions that sustain our societies. Because of this uh, urgency, there are lots of actions that should be taken and we should start act acting now. First of all, we should protect the remaining old growth forests in our countries. Second, one third of the forest area should be outside timber production. And third, we should diversify management on the remaining production land. With those three actions, if we start immediately, we can considerably improve the status of biodiversity. There are actually some signs that uh, people's attitudes in society are changing. For example, the largest forest companies uh, in the Nordic countries, they have uh, renewed their strategies. What we need is more pressure from the civil society and from the private sectors, and then the politicians will follow. Biodiversity is basically the building blocks of evolution, and evolution is then also needed for the forest to be able to develop. According to, to all kind of ecological theory, this is just crucial. Why is evolution needed in forest management? Well, because there's a lot of pressure on forests today. Uh, there is threats against forests, there are invasive species, climate change, and a declining biodiversity will then decrease the forest's ability to adapt to these other threats. Forestry today is predominantly being managed by clear cutting. And by clear cutting, you remove all the trees. These trees are crucial for all the other animals and fungi and bryophytes and lichens that are living in the forest. So by removing the trees, you remove the habitat of these organisms. Currently, when you investigate how biodiversity is affected by forestry, a lot of times you don't have the opportunity to look at kind of the full range of biodiversity. Instead, you look at single species or single species groups. What we see when we include several different species groups and organism types in a study is that sometimes they are affected differently. So by including more aspects, you get a fuller picture of how biodiversity is affected by forest management regime. When it comes to the future and biodiversity and forests, I would like to be hope hopeful. But I think we need to do much more. Provided strength and actions, I think we could still hope that we can safeguard biodiversity.